I am here with the lovely Moon Bloodgood, one of the stars of TNT's Falling Skies. Who we have a past, we have a history. We do. Let's tell them about our history. Well, we were in Boston together Monday night for a uh, a screening of the pilot of Falling Skies. Well, I came to your show in the morning, and you came to my show that morning. You got and up then, early. Yep. And, and then yes. that night we were together at the the, at the, the nightclub in the movie theater, and, and that was your first time seeing the whole. Yeah, uh, two hours. like the finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that night? That's right. Yeah. We had some fun people in the audience. We did. They liked it. I was glad that, you know, glad that it got filled up. And, yeah. You know, I almost had a heart attack running back down to ask the question. I know, because you were like, you went to the bathroom and you came back. You were like, <laughs> so moon. <laughs> give me 10 minutes. I was like, but you, read. yeah. <laughs> so, you did I ask, we, we talked a, bit, a little bit about this when you were in Boston, but uh, with Terminator Salvation and Pathfinder, you, you've had some um, uh, some roles that have kind of created a little niche for you. Yeah. And I was wondering if that was by choice or if it's by uh, luck. Or coincidence? Maybe both. Um, I, I think in the beginning, I was drawn to these high concept shows. There was a show called Daybreak, then a show called Journeyman. And I remember I'd get these other scripts, but I just didn't connect with them. So I tended to go out for those, and then maybe I excelled because I loved them so much. Yeah. And, uh, and then at some point, you then become kind of, not pigeonholed, because I'm happy to do science fiction, but they kind of see you in that genre. Right. Now, in these other roles that we mentioned previously, uh, they were physically demanding. You got in a lot of action scenes. This yeah. was kind of laid back for you. Is that it was a nice it, change? Is that a nice change? You like that? Yeah, <laughs> because you know I, I have done a lot of stunts and I was a dancer for many years and I like doing that. But you know, once you've done something, you want to try something else. Yeah. You, you know, you want to challenge yourself in a different way. And I was excited to play a doctor. I didn't. I also was excited not to have to act in my own physicality or be sexualized. It right. was just about being a doctor. And it's not. I mean, it's rare that a former Laker girl goes on to play a doctor. I mean, you don't. You don't you hear know that what? happening often. No one has ever said that, and you're right. How many Laker girls go on to play a doctor? You wouldn't see Paul Abdul playing a doctor. <laughs> as a <laughs> she might be going to. She might be getting prescriptions oh my from God. him. I might, I might be like Paula. Let's talk, yeah. honey. <laughs> you let me, have a let me close person. the door. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah, I'm kind of. You know what? Th- I like that. I like that. I that actually just made me feel really good. Oh, good, uh, good. I went from being a dancer, and then. I uh, I never thought I'd be an actor. Yeah, and and, and it's and it's not like you've been playing the same role all the time. This is like a a serious informational uh, character as opposed to like the the Terminator character where you were a survivor who's like having to beat everybody up and get things. Yeah, done and, and I always have like the one liners. Even though I loved that that role, yeah. um, it's like you know I don't have to be physical in this. It has nothing to do with my like dance background. Of I'm just I'm not a tough girl. I'm more my strength comes more from my personality and and spirit. And you don't have to worry about somebody stepping in Noah Wiley's light and him losing his temper and it ending up all over the internet. Yeah. Oh, well, God, I was in my trailer when all that <laughs> happened. I think we talked about we that. We did. We did. You were not the cause of Christian Bale's If meltdown. it ever happened again, I think I would still just sit there quietly and go, are we taping that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to lose a part in that. Yeah, film, no, so. no. <laughs> so now are we going to see any more uh, physicality from your character in the show? A little bit. Up? I mean, at some point... Um, because you know the biggest enemy is not always the aliens; it's the other humans. You know, right. they can be, you know, it's like it's like Lord of the Flies. You never know what people are going to be like until they're put in that kind of circumstance that's desperate. Uh, I do end up learning how to shoot a gun. That was fun. I actually have to pretend like I don't know how to shoot a gun. And the girl Sarah Carter with blonde hair, she teaches right. me. That ah, was just a hoot. That's funny. Like standing there and going, acting like I'm, I'm nervous and I don't know how to, you know, hold it. Right. That's when I really had to learn how to act. Great. Well, Moon, thanks for uh, for joining us thanks again. For, thank you. And the show premieres June 19th, 9 p.m. on TNT. WAAF.com.